Here is an amazing fact. Most people start out in their 20s working for a better life. They work 45 years to achieve their dreams with the goal of retirement. Yet statistically, for every 100 people who reach the age of 65, 1% are wealthy, either because they inherited their wealth or they owned their own business. 4% are financially fit or independent. 5% are still working. 28% are dead, probably because they worked themselves to death. And 62% are just flat broke, living paycheck to paycheck, requiring assistance from the government, family, or charity. After 45 years of hard work, 95% of people don't make it. They tread back and forth between home and work, simply trading time for money, creating a rut to bury their hopes and dreams. Most people don't plan to be in the 95%, but by the time they realize it, they are stuck, drowning in boredom, bills, credit card debt, and a fixed income. The reason? 95% of people spend up to 45 years of their lives making the other 5% successful. They work a plan for someone else's financial success, not their own. Most people are not very good at saving money. However, while you're in your working years, having money when you retire should be a concern, which means you need to have a plan in place. If you want to earn an extra $300 per month when you retire, you will need to save $180,000. If you were to start this goal at age 25, you would need to save $250 per month every month for 40 years. Starting at 45, you would need to save $620 per month over the next 20 years to reach the same goal. If you want to earn an extra $1,500 per month from savings, you will need to save $900,000. Starting at age 25, you would need to save $1,235 per month every month for 40 years to reach your goal. Starting at 45, you would need to save $3,060 per month over the next 20 years. If you want to earn an extra $9,000 per month from savings, you will need to save $5 million. Starting at age 25, you would need to save $6,850 per month every month for 40 years to reach this goal. Starting at 45, you would need to save $17,000 per month over the next 20 years. So what are your options to earn additional income? What is your plan B? Work more hours? Get a second job? Own your own business? What kind of business would you start? Would you buy a franchise? Would you join a multi-level or network marketing company? Of the 5% who succeed, three out of four do so by owning their own business. But what are the risks? Large startup expenses and high overhead costs. Can you give up the security of your present job and income? Then there's the possibility of failure or bankruptcy. And even if you do succeed, you are stuck to your business. What about investments? Have the expertise in real estate or stocks? An inheritance? Go back to school? Win the lottery? Although there are options, they are unrealistic. They take too much time and require too much money. Approximately every 10 to 20 years, a new marketing system emerges as a better way of distributing products to the end consumer. Those people who position themselves at the forefront of these systems made fortunes. In the 1930s, it was direct sales, and in the 40s, franchising. Multi-level and network marketing surfaced in the 50s, and catalogs in the 60s. In the 70s, it was direct mail, and in the 80s, it was infomercials. The 1990s through 2000s brought about the internet, e-commerce, one-to-one marketing, and social shopping.